Hey guys, James again with TFB TV, and we are at mailroom number. I don't remember. So yes, it's been a while since I've done a mailroom video. Really sorry about that. A lot of crazy personal stuff going on. Lindsay and I, in November over Thanksgiving break, we went to Ecuador for two weeks. That was awesome. Christmas, SHOT Show. Lindsay and I went to Los Cabos for a week for my 35th birthday before SHOT Show. So I've just been slammed up and I am so sorry about that. So buckle down because this is gonna be a long one. As is the mailroom tradition, I've got a very interesting beer here. This brew doggy is the Urban South Delta Mama. They make this right down the street from my house. It's not as exciting as what I usually bring on here, but it's almost Mardi Gras, so I figured I'd do a little New Orleans flavor. <coughs> and that's the other thing. I also got the shot aids, um, like everybody gets this year. Everybody's freaking sick at shots. It's disgusting. The past week, I've been working all night until 2 a.m. <laughs> <coughs> getting up at 6 or 7 a.m. and doing it all over again for you guys. I do it because I love you guys. You know that. It's pretty decent. Got, got a little bit of a, a hoppy taste to it. I'm not an IPA guy or an APA. If it's got too much hops, I hate it. Before we get to the mail, Patreon update. We hemorrhaged Patreon supporters because apparently Patreon tried to pass the fees on to the viewers rather than the creators, and that caused a bunch of people to leave. They've reversed that, so guys, come back to us. I've said it before, I'll say it again. We're making a third to a quarter of the ad revenue on YouTube as we were making when we had half the subscribers, like half the views. And by the way, we just crossed over 100 million views before the end of the year. So that's a pretty incredible milestone for TFB TV. Now, as far as what we give you back for Patreon, there's three levels of Patreon support. You've got tier one, and when you hit tier one, you get a red and white TFB writer's patch, which is the patch the writers were to SHOT Show. You can't buy these. You can't, we, we're not selling the patches. We may someday, but not yet. When you hit tier two, you get an OD green and black patch that even some of the guys that work at TFB TV, they don't have. The only way to get it is through Patreon. And finally, you hit tier three, and you get the secret patch. And I'm, I can't tell you what that is, but when you hit tier three, you'll get it. There's maybe a dozen of you out there who have it already, and it's pretty sick. I'm also bringing back the monthly giveaway. So I've got a SHOT Show package that I'll show you in a second. That's gonna be the giveaway this month, but we're gonna be working with a few vendors. I'm not naming any names to get regular prizes to do for a monthly giveaway on the channel, but we always have swag that we give away every month to you guys as a way to say thank you. And we've also got the live chats. So am I begging you for money? Yes, but am I also going to give you something back? Definitely. So get on there, help us out. I'm doing a new push for Patreon. Guys, I will make it awesome for you, I swear. So this month, I've got two SHOT Show swag bags that I'm gonna be giving away. This one, they're both identical. Got a Kalashnikov USA hat and koozie, Heltec PVC patch, Arsenal cloth patch, DSA PVC patch, B&T circle PVC patch, Kalashnikov USA Swiss Army knife, Knight's Armament sticker, a DSA roadie challenge coin, a Sig Booney hat, a SHOT Show flask, compliments of Stark Marketing, and most importantly, the TFB writer's patch that I was just talking about. I got two of those packages. I'll post a link in Patreon. Only supporters who have been a supporter for at least one month can enter, and we just draw by random number. All right, all of that out of the way. Let's open some mail. All right, Nick F. from Boston. Dear James, what's up, you sexy badass beast? It says that. My state hates guns. I live in Massachusetts. You poor son of a bitch. But they love Super Bowls, don't they? And my wife hates guns. Oh, my God. What are you doing? I'm surrounded by the enemy. Although I'm slowly getting my wife to realize that guns are not some scary death machines, but tools in the right hands that can actually save lives. Whoa, crazy notion. Now, I don't know how much hope there is for my state to loosen up on guns, <coughs> which is going to lead into the question I have for you. I carry a Ruger LC9S. Great pick. I mean, will they throw you under the jail for that? Are you even allowed to carry it? Never mind, just forget I ask. But I want to start carrying more than a single stack. I would opt for something like a Glock 19, but they're hard to obtain in Massachusetts, so you have to pay a premium. I'm talking like 800 bucks ooh, for someone's stock Glock and $100 a pop for ever so valuable pre-band 15 round mags. Wow. So I'm considering picking up a Ruger Murican Compact. I'm a lefty and I've shot it at my local range and I love it. <coughs> but there's one thing holding me back, 10 round capacity restriction. 
If I buy something and I carry less than I know what it's capable of holding, I feel like I'm being f***ed over. Understandable, man. So I have this mental block preventing me from getting something. I want to know what you think I should do. Should I just get the thing and curse my state as I carry it with neutered mags? Or should I keep carrying my LC9S? P.S. That pumpkin beer you tried in episode 8 looked like it tasted pretty bad. Try Shipyard Pumpkin Head, which is a delicious manly pumpkin beer. Is that an oxymoron? Manly pumpkin beer? Enjoy the presents mailed with this letter. I hope you enjoy these old Japanese adult actress trading cards. Holy moly. Uh, dude. I know you're a commando. You definitely came from K. My wife's gonna be so pissed when she sees these. I'm just gonna have to put them in my Japanese actress card box under my bed. Guys, I have to apologize in advance for all the jump cuts. I keep coughing. I cannot stop coughing. So I know I'm gonna have to make a bunch of cuts. I'm sorry, I know it's probably distracting. To answer your question, Nick, the if, if you're willing to carry an LC9S, which is a great carry gun, that's great, you know, they're easy to carry, you can stuff it in your pocket, you're almost never gonna leave it at home because it's too bulky. If you're gonna step up to a double stack, I mean, you know, you could do a Glock 26, and that way you're carrying a true subcompact, and it's going to be more efficient, right? Because you're carrying it at full capacity. Now, if you carry the Ruger American Compact, which I've reviewed one, I can't remember if it's 12 plus one or, or 15 plus one, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a 12 plus one. Uh, you're still getting four more rounds than you have in your LC9S in a more controllable package. So yes, while it does straight up piss you off that you're going to be carrying a, a gun less efficiently, right? It, it's got a reduced capacity. And while mentally it pisses you off that you have to bow to your state and uh, because of this arbitrary rule, yeah, that sucks. But you know what also sucks is being four rounds short when you need it. So... You know, think about it. All right, next, Jeff W. addressing this to his lordship, Count Tacula. Look how awesome that is with the wax seal and everything. God, this is postmarked November 13. I wish I would have had this when I was Count Tacula for, or I'm sorry, when Count Tacula hosted the program in October. To his lordship, the Count of Tier 1 Sylvania, greetings from the Republic of Texas. I write to say that you have amused many of us, so when the zombies rise and the day comes to send all things undead back to hell, we might find it fit to spare you. Thank you. <laughs> that James Butthole isn't too bad either. His reviews are entertaining and even, his, and even informational at times. His antics are comical to the point of overlooking his choice in beers. His clothing, fanny pack, and metro choices, although could use some addressing, but at the end of the day, He's still your second of the group. I'm sorry to hear about the loss of your leprechaun as the rest of your hosts on your channel, aside from James, are meh for the most part. Despite which, TFB TV has helped me fill many hours of dead time during my days, and I appreciate that y'all are trying to find a way to make good content for the people willing to keep watching. On another subject, I noticed you favor the ARM-16 platform. May I suggest a move to the AK as it's the only rifle with the annual maintenance of sloshing it around in used motor oil, and it will live as long as you. Till the time comes for you to take over the channel, I'll find a way to tolerate the others. Keep the sunscreen near, the mags handy, and your weapon always in reach. Sincerely, Jeff. P.S. If that James fellow enjoys his shorts to such an extent, he should look into rugby apparel. That's a great tip. Jeff, this is one of the most incredible letter formats I have ever received. As far as the other guys go, you, now first of all, you may have noticed at SHOT Show we added Corey Wardrop to the lineup. Corey is a curator of a firearms museum and does a fantastic job on camera. So I know you guys are gonna love him. And as far as Miles and Andrew go, those guys both probably more knowledgeable than I am about guns. And it's so funny because for every person, if you look through the comments, that's what's so great about TFB TV is we've got different personalities. So you look through my comments, a lot of people say James is the absolute worst. He's an idiot, I hate this guy. Miles is better, Andrew's better, whatever. As far as M4, M16 versus AK, I love AKs. I've got a couple of Yugoslavians, I've got three Russians, I need to add a Bulgarian to the collection. I really do love AKs, but I just think the M16, M4 is, uh, it's, it's an easier to handle format. The Ergos, the manual of arms, a lot better, a lot easier to use, and it is my favorite platform. It's not perfect, but as for right now, I think it's as good as it gets. 
out there. So thank you very much for writing. This letter is freaking awesome, dude. All right, we'll do two more letters because I don't want to drag this on too long. It says, today's just for you. Enjoy a nice, fun, and super happy mail call day. That's pretty funny. James, a.k.a. Hot Pants, I wanted to thank you for all the wonderful content you provide for your fan base. I especially like the episodes where you wear your cute little shorts and tight shirts. After some late nights of watching you make sweet love to your pocket-sized handguns, I like to have my wife wear a life-size mask of your face, and we make passionate love for hours. <laughs> my deepest fantasy is to have a three-way with you and little leprechaun Patrick R. I bet he is magically delicious. Oh my God, can I read this on new YouTube? This is getting demonetized instantly. <coughs> that would be my treasure at the end of the rainbow. All 1911s aside, I do appreciate the hard work everyone at TFB TV puts into your videos, and I truly enjoy the content you provide. If possible, please display your most erotic O face for me when reading this letter, and it'll send me to the moon and back. Forever yours, James Reeves. Oh, wait, that's you. I tend to forget we're not the same person. <laughs> God. TFB TV mailroom from Birmingham, Alabama. Congrats on the national championship. Dear James, just writing to say how much I enjoy the show and the channel overall. I really like the firearms, not politics policy. Me too. And it's tiring trying to sift through channel. Sorry, this guy's handwriting is as bad as mine. Uh, clogged, channels clogged with political junk when you just want to find a gun review. I, lo I love your sense of humor and your almost Rhodesian affinity for short shorts. It's funny and almost a little disturbing. I really enjoyed the If Calibers Were Famous New Year's Eve special a while back. I'm writing from college, and this and other channels keep me going because my college prohibits firearms. That sucks. Keep up the good work. Roll Tide. There you go. Like I said, congrats on that national championship. Thanks for writing in, man. Packages. Packages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turley. Dear James, it's been a while since I sent in a holster trying to get my business off the ground. Due to the overwhelming success and kindness of your viewers and Patreon subs, I sold eight holsters. Yes, eight. Not being a large company, just one slightly overweight beer and scotch drinking ranch boy. So for me, that's outstanding. I'm making phone case holsters for those who don't always remember to carry their CCW, become hell or high water, won't forget a backup cell phone. Enclosed is a case that will fit a Galaxy S8 or whatever phone you shove it in, can shove in there, I guess. Oh yeah, shirts are in the works as well. Can't go topless these days. False. Sincerely, Roger Turley, Horace Leather. Uh, Roger is the man we've connected on social media and we talk a little bit. Uh, very nice guy. Everybody, I guess he sold eight holsters after the TFB TV episode where he sent in a, a, a holster. I think it was a CZ holster maybe, and we gave it away at Patreon, just like what we're gonna do with this very nice cell phone holster. This is also gonna go in the Patreon giveaway stack. We'll give this away. And again, guys, remember, if you're a small business owner, you wanna send something in, you want me to spread some propaganda for your company, uh, just go ahead and send it in. I'll give it away to Patreon supporters. I don't keep this stuff. Um, and you know, I'll be glad to put your link in the description, or whatever. So, I'll help you out. Oh, no charge for that, obviously. All right. So this one's from Austria. This guy wrote me. I received this, gosh, in October, or something, all the way from Austria, and I haven't opened it yet. So the guy was worried it got lost. I feel terrible. It's just because I've been putting off the mailroom. So guys, we're getting back into regular rotation, though. It's coming back. Like I said, let's see what I got from Austria. Very professional, look at that, with a window envelope and everything. TFB TV mailroom. Dear James, I'm writing you to introduce Firearms United. We're a European gun rights organization uniting all gun owners in Europe. After the attack in Paris in November 2015, we faced another attack, an attack on freedom, carried out by unelected and unaccountable European Commission. But as you should always look on the bright side, this also had a positive impact because this was the final push that kicked Firearms United into overdrive and helped us get established very quickly within the shooting community. We mobilized people to email their reps. Yes, we also have some elected ones. Send them letters and call. We organized many meetings with politicians and organized a conference at Parliament on the issue. Beside that, we're also active in bringing back gun culture to Europe. To further this goal, we set up a merchandise store at IamTheGunLobby.eu. I included some of the swag for you. 
Every single euro goes directly into the war chest to fund activities. We're all volunteers. When confronted about the plan directive, John Claude Junker, or is it Junker? I don't know said that he'd never experienced such an aggressive effort by the gun lobby. So we got clear with ourselves. Yes, every single gun owner <coughs> is the gun lobby. That's how we came up with the slogan, I am the gun lobby. Hashtag, I am the gun lobby. We also launched carrynow.eu, a European campaign promoting CCW for reliable, law-abiding, and trained citizens. Because yes, it might seem strange to you, but in Europe, that's not the case. In the end, Parliament voted for the directive despite our great efforts, but the directive they voted for has much less restrictions than the one that the EC drafted in November 2015. So wish us luck for a fight, and once at happier times, we may also have a Second Amendment in Europe. Kind regards, Max, member of the Board of Firearms United. Guys, we got a ton of Firearms United EU stuff, stickers, uh, bumper stickers. Oh man, got some pretty dope patches here. Guys, this is all gonna go. Uh, we'll be giving this away. All this Firearms United swag, got a few t-shirts. This is really nice, Max, thank you so much. Um, got all these t-shirts that, uh, that I'll also be giving away on Patreon. So we're gonna have a hell of a month on Patreon. Uh, this month and next month with all the stuff we got from this mailroom and all the stuff I brought back from SHOT. Not to mention, we're planning on having some partners join up. So, guys, go in there and check it out. I'm so glad to bring back mailroom. I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting it on a weekly or semi-weekly basis. Guys, address is there. Keep sending mail. I'm going to finally, I haven't checked the mailbox in like two months, so I'm afraid of what I might find, and I'm really sorry if your stuff got sent back to you. Guys, I really apologize, but I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys are happy. Mailroom's back. See you next week.